y'all favorite creators got y'all coming into my comment section and calling me a pick me asking that they pick me and then the men are responding back to y'all and saying that they would pick me and then you're getting upset that the men are telling you that they would pick me and you making comments talking about they all would but none of them are taking home dates and making an honest woman out of her your daddy didn't make an honest woman out of your mama again when we say what do you bring to the table that doesn't mean financially that doesn't mean uh what emotionally you spiritually it, it, it means like hey what do you, that. how do you how do you add value into my life yeah and that's why i said it's, it's subjective to everybody i'm the type of man I don't ever want to hear a woman say to me if I'm dating a woman, oh well, yeah, because you know I cook and I clean. So do I. Okay, so let's, let's go to the camera. Shall we go to the second John? Yes, second. The second John. So we got the second second video. Second video is being a pick me, good or bad. Taste. Is being a pick me good or bad? You know what is funny because I never heard of this term before until maybe about a, a about a month a month ago. Word and it's funny, I was just talking to my girlfriend um that lives in Arizona and she was talking, Oh yeah, she's a pick me. I said, What the hell is a pick me? Look, I'm just being honest. Let's go. <laughs> So y'all favorite creators got y'all coming into my comment section and calling me a pick me, asking that they pick me. And then the men are responding back to y'all and saying that they would pick me. And then you're getting upset that the men are telling you that they would pick me. And you making comments talking about they all would, but none of them are taking home dates and making an honest woman out of her. Your daddy didn't make an honest woman out of your mama. But here we are. But the thing I'm trying to understand is how can a man take me on a date if I'm not willing to say yes? Like, where, where, where is the disconnect? Where's the elevator not coming up to the top? I don't date. There's no way that a man could take me on a date, Pukisha, if I'm not willing to say yes. I'm going to keep saying it. Y'all have taken the validity out of the word pick me. At one point, it did hold weight. Now, it don't. At this point, the whole definition of it is shifting. It's shifting to woman who thinks objectively. That's what pick me is turning into. Any woman who thinks objectively and she don't think with a one track mind with the rest of women, then she has to be a pick me. But I'm sure that this pick me comment ain't going the way you wanted it to. And it's backfiring on you because you didn't expect the men to respond back to you and tell you that they would pick me if I allowed them to be for real. Bukisha. Yeah. Bukisha. Let me see. Let me see if I can pick her real quick. Is that her Instagram right there? Oh, listen. So, yeah, that was credit. That was her credit. Where's the where's Dana Dane. Dana Dane. 1987. I think that's her backup page or something. So, 1987. That means she's my age. All right, Dana Yeah. The T. Start off, T. Is that good or bad being a pick me? What's up? I don't know. So once again, I mean, I'm I'm fairly new to this terminology. Can we tell you what a pick me is? Of well, I mean, I hear it, and I like I said, it was just explained to me to my by my girlfriend. So my thing is, it's like any woman can be a quote unquote pick me. However, yeah, if you don't, if you don't, yeah, I'm gonna go there. Huffers. Broke, lonely, huffers, <laughs> huzzies are saying. Yes, I said it. Huzzies. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but basically, it's 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 the same thing. It's not changing. It's not changing society on what guys like or what they pick so it's basically the same thing a, a man will pick a wholesome woman but yet and still the huzzies still get picked to an extent for the physical aspect but i mean i don't i don't get it like Wait a minute, didn't, didn't, we, didn't we tell you last week oh my we God. don't love them we I didn't say that we don't they like the hoes we don't said, love the hoes that's why I just said for the physical <laughs> aspect like are you not listening now are you not listening oh shit <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm hard headed like a black woman right like come on I just said for the physical aspect like I literally threw that in there <laughs> go ahead go ahead DJ, listen go ahead. ladies take it from me we talking about mature guys now. We're going we're gonna to specify that. The mature men want the pick me's. We don't want the attitude of uh the attitude annies. We don't want them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't want the the pop in your neck pams. We don't want them. We at, at this age now, again, I, everybody uses the term peace. It means a lot of different things for men, but at the end of the day, it's just like I don't want I don't want to come I'm battling every day when I put that when I turn that doorknob and I go outside I'm battling everything right. on the outside. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have the battle when you I don't want to come back mm -hmm. and battle you and then battle you over like small stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like 
really men want partnership that's what pick me is partnership it's not oh um I, I, he gotta do this for me he, he gotta i keep All with right, the you, other, you put a nice little perspective with the on other it lady help from, me from last week understand it what did i say she talked about i can't find nobody all she talked about was her yeah i can't i'm this i have that i have that a man does not care what you have Again, when we say, what do you bring to the table? That doesn't mean financially. That doesn't mean uh, what emotionally, you can, spiritually. It, it, it means like, hey, what do you, how do you how do you add value into my life? Yep. And that's why I said it's, it's subjective to everybody. I'm the type of man. I don't ever want to hear a woman say to me if I'm dating a woman. Oh, well, yeah, because, you know, I cook and I clean. So do I. And so should everybody else. <laughs> yeah, right. If you're a human and you're an adult, if you're an you should, adult, you better you should know you better, how to. You it's be called cooking responsibility. And clean. You should know how to cook and clean. So if you lead with that, that shows me that if those are your most important characteristics, you probably not for me. I need to. I need you to hear it. Tell me something else that I'm like, oh, okay, damn, I never thought about that. So and, that's and you the know part. what? And another thing for me, like when it comes to like those type of partnerships, it's like okay, it shouldn't be a one way street. Like partnerships should be a two way street. I learn from you, you learn from me, we learn from each other. And a lot of times it's like, I remember talking to this one guy one time, he's like, well, you can't, I can't, uh, I can't learn nothing from you because just because you're of a certain culture and I'm of a different culture doesn't necessarily mean we can't learn from each other. He was just so narrow minded. So, yeah. you know. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. That wasn't the guy that uh, you went over. He was upset that you left two o'clock in the morning. No. No. Oh, okay. That was a guy. He was Israeli. Okay, oh, okay. Out okay. clowning boy. That, that was him. So look, let's go to the comments. So comment number one: when they don't have a valid, intelligent rebuttal, they call you a pick me. Fact is that, that fact? That, that is facts. Because at the end of the day, a woman that can articulate herself and say, "Hey, listen, I understand that as a woman, um, I de I desire things, or I should be, uh, I, I should want certain things, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that the man should neither." Or that doesn't mean that his the things that he want is not important or should not come first. We can we can switch roles. Some of my stuff come first sometimes. Some of his stuff come first. They don't see that that way. So then yeah, that's when they start calling him. Oh, you a pick me? I thought the object was to get picked. To get picked? Yeah, you want, you want to get <laughs> so picked. So it's like you, right you want. Yeah, but I don't understand what's the purpose yeah. of the terminology. Like because pick me is basically is disrespectful. It's basically to say you're just saying the, the women who don't agree are saying that women are just saying that. So Just that they could get, get picked, picked by a man. But it's okay. like, no, if you really live that life and that's who you are, you're going to get picked. It yeah. just is what it is. But the, the women that fight against that and you want to be your own woman and be strong and be independent, that's cool. But like my uncle Kevin Samuel said, buy a dog, die alone. <laughs> <Lie> alone. <laughs> so look, comment number two. So comment number two says, it's all very confusing. Aren't we supposed to want to be picked? I mean, that's where I'm coming from. That's why I said I'm a little confused. That's why I just asked CJ what I just asked him. So, like, what's the what's the point? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the, the, the terminology is a little different for me. And I understand, you know, we all got to evolve with, you know, different slang and stuff. But once again, every woman at some point wants to be picked by a man. So that's I guess that's where I'm a little confused. At. Why should it be just certain women which i don't i do get like because yeah. you got some of these women that do not carry themselves in a wholesome in a mature way yeah. so of course a guy would not want to pick her to be wifey yeah, yeah. he'll just pick her to as you say you know hit and miss but. well see those those are the ones that i call the dick me oh okay yeah, yeah. they don't want to get picked they want to get dick, dick me okay <laughs> wow. all right yeah, I mean, All right. so, see, there, in my book, there's only two categories. Okay. Pick me or dick me. Pick me right. or dick me. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? You know, well, listen, I don't have an issue with the lather. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what do you want to be? Listen, <laughs> listen, I always say, do you want to be at the crib on Friday night or do you want to be there on Sunday afternoon? It's a big difference. <laughs> That's right. It's a big Wait a minute. Difference. Wait a minute. What's the difference? Friday night... So if you if you were to do it, y'all, why a, per, a woman couldn't be there both days? Listen, if you are there on a it, Sunday afternoon, means something. And I, I I'm not just saying that Sunday afternoon, like that's the day. I'm talking about like you know, no, normally Sunday afternoon is family, dinner, stuff like that. You don't just randomly have anybody at your crib. 
Sunday afternoon when you're oh, doing no. stuff with the family. Nah, no, nah, listen, so, you got to go. <laughs> yeah, so Sunday morning, <laughs> guess where go, you going? Man. Hey, listen. You, you ain't got to go home. But you got to get the hell up out of here. Hell <laughs> out of here. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got family stuff. Hey, look, let me tell you, you know the number one line is you laying in bed. Uh, so what, what you, you got, got to plan? do today? <laughs> <laughs> what you about to do today? Yes, hey, man. It's universal. <laughs> it's that whatever language or whatever. What you about to do? Uh, man. <laughs> Listen, if, and if they, they, like they ain't got nothing to do, then guess what? Well, you know, I got to go to work. <laughs> Listen, I got, I got my mom coming over. I got to pick this fertilizer up. I got to get this yard yeah, together man. for my aunt. Yeah, you don't even, even got a yard. Oh man, I got to fertilize the grass. Yeah. Tell you what, ain't you just cement? I'm gonna say oh, something. Man. I'm gonna say something that I know you ain't gonna want to be a part of. I'm not gonna say nothing that I think you might say. Oh, well, I'll ride with you. Man. Man. You gotta oh, go. Man. Oh man, listen. Before we go to the last comment, give my man El Plaga O a shout out. Plaga in the building, y'all. Shout out to the people in the comment. Plaga O in the building. Like, nah. yeah. So let's go to comment number three. I guess they'd rather be a reject me. Facts. Oh, yeah, see, reject that, me. Reject me is nothing but a dick me. <laughs> okay. Reject me is just another uh, terminology. Is a professional for it. Term, term, <laughs> term, <laughs> professional term. <laughs> professional terminology to dick me. That's the nice version. That's the nice way of putting it. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yes. And we still get monetized because we didn't curse. Okay. Again, <laughs> do you do you do you go into a. Uh, you go into a, a, a Mexican restaurant asking for cheesesteaks? No, you know you know what you're going in there for. You're getting a specific thing, so it's the it's the same uh, it's the same mind frame. If you are a woman and you're trying to get picked up by a man, you want to be courted, you want to be whatever. You have to show him what he would like. You can't be who you want to be and then be like, well, how come nobody talking to me? Uh, what you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's very yeah, simple. Yeah, you get picked. So listen, drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not just shut your mouth, woman. Get your ass pick back me. in that basement. <laughs>